So we just treated ourselves. No. <laughs> what did we treat ourselves to? A massage, a forehead massage. A forehead massage. It's like a pretty woman. Oh, oh, yeah. that, that, that. Not the mouth. Not the mouth. Never just no, the Julia mouth. Julia Roberts. Well, it was like, what's his name? Richard Gere. Richard Gere. <laughs> it was cheaper for him. <laughs> it was cheaper for him. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Olives and Orgasms, Ali here. And if you guys look behind me, you probably recognize this room from my big videos that I've posted at the beginning, beginning. This is my spot, this is like my jam, this is where I like to film because I'm in the furthest point of the motel, so it's like very private, far away from everybody. You can actually rent this room, it's great. I lived in this room for a while. And the view is incredible. I will show you guys, I mean, uh, if you look at the view, isn't it just like insane? You see the Fleuve Saint Laurent, the mountains, it's just beautiful. And there's a big echo in here because it's a very large room, so not great for sound, but I'm gonna film in here anyways. So I wanted to tell you guys today about uh, the experience that Gab and I had the other day. So I went to Montreal for a few days and then I took the bus back to Quebec where Gab came to pick me up and we treated ourselves to a little sexual treat because in my previous video where I talk about coming back to Canada, I mentioned that Gab and I were, you know, trying a new regimen, trying to continue what we started in Brazil, just kind of like a wellness journey, just feeling good in our bodies, drinking less. Uh, eating more mindfully, enjoying our food. I mean, we always enjoy our food, but just eating more smartly. And it's been going super well. We've been counting calories, which as I mentioned, something I used to do a long time ago for maybe like a week. And then I just meh, let it go because it's just like counting, calculating every day and putting that information in the phone. It's just so much work. But uh, you definitely get results and it's not restricting at all. We're still pretty much eating all day. Actually, I'm eating a lot more now than I was before. That's for sure. I definitely wasn't eating enough before. I was either eating not enough or too much. Anyways, that's besides the point. This video is not about counting calories. I'm here to tell you guys though that we have been doing a great job. Gab feels great. I feel great. Gab has been seeing results. I'm super happy about that and so have I. And we told ourselves that we would positively reinforce these good habits with a sexual treat and that we would reward ourselves with a little special massage in Quebec because there's a place that we like to go there. And I mean, where we are now, there's just nothing like that around here. So we got to go far if we want to get some action. And it's the second time we've been to this place, very private in a little industrial area called Made an Appointment. Uh, the first time I made an appointment, the girl asked me, so what kind of girls do you like? Do you like blondes? Do you like brunettes? What kind of body type do you like? And so on. But this time, because it was last minute, there was just one girl that was there that does couples. So I was like, sold. Alexia it is. And they're always really nice there. It's, uh, it's a cute place. It's clean. It's private, you know. What uh, I don't understand about these places, these massage parlors, I don't know if it's like this any everywhere, but according to my male friends, it is. When you get there, you have to pay to rent the room. There's a fee for that. And then you pay the girl that services you depending on what your arrangement is. Because you know, you go for a massage, but there's always like little things that you can work out between you and her if you want extra stuff. So, you know, if you're a couple, obviously everything is just double the price, double the pleasure, double the fun, double the price. So I'll let you guys know how much it was. It's usually $90 to rent the room. So for us, it was $180. And I don't really understand how it works if you just rent the room or it always goes hand in hand with a girl. But like, why would you just rent the room unless you bring your own fun? I don't know. I don't really know how that works, but that's how it works there. And it was our second time, so we were a bit more comfortable and we know how it works. We went to the room, we took off our clothes, got in the shower, and I was lying on the table, and uh, Gab was there too. Did you and have fun? 
yes, it was very fun, and we need to debrief to, like, uh, our our thing is we have very little experience, but yeah. we're improving everything. Yeah. Well, I asked her about a membership, so maybe we could become regulars. <laughs> but because it would be fun to like know the girls and go, and it's like, hey, Ali, hey, Gav, and it's hey. like, hey, and they know what we like. And when are you coming to the auberge? You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like uh, the last time there was some ah uh, the bar de dancers is right there. The last time there was some negotiation taking place uh, yeah. after we started, and uh, Never that a good time idea. we uh, managed to like. Not have that. Evite ça. Yeah. Well, she was cool. She sat down, and which I like, and yeah. she's just like, so what do you guys like? Let's work this out now. And uh, it was like, well, this is what we want, and let's discuss the price, and that that's it. So I like it when they're super chill about it, but most of them are chill. Like, that's what it is. I feel like it's us people that aren't chill about it, and we make it awkward. You know but what I mean? It's When I negotiating a price. Well... No, she's like chill about that. That's for sure. That's her craft. But uh, it's us like who doesn't know and we don't say what we want at the first time and then we end up negotiating all naked and, <laughs> and we vulnerable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I will say yes to whatever you ask me right now. <laughs> Can you stop talking about money? Uh, but, and just uh, touch me please. Yeah. Or like no, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. shy to ask for what we want. And... So that was the lesson of the that last time was like talk before and then specify that once we start, yeah, there's no more talking yeah. about like negotiation unless we bring it up. Yeah. Um. So that we uh, that we improve. And then the girl and... walks in and she's like, "Oh, like you guys are comfortable, you know? She's wearing a little robe with some lingerie underneath." And she's like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to get comfortable too. So she's like hops on the, the bed, sits next to us and is like, so like, what are you guys looking for? What do you want? We're just like, oh, you know, we're just here having some fun and uh, nothing too crazy. And she asked us straight up, like, what, what do you want out of this? Which I really liked because sometimes they do not ask you that right away. And if you're not experienced in this, you kind of go along and then as you're in the action, then you start negotiating prices and that's just not fun for anybody. We like to, you know, do it all at the beginning. And these are little things that I'm learning, you know, as I dive deeper into this industry. And uh, I don't know what's going to be the lesson of this time. Uh, this time, I think it was just more what I liked and what I want more of next time. Which is? Probably some kissing involved. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's, it was fun to touch this time. Because last time we didn't touch. Gab put my hand on her ass while she was on top of me. And then she turns around and she's like, oh, did we speak to you about the extras? And we were like, no. And she's like, yeah, anything extra is this an X cost? And we were just like, oh, okay, uh, continue on, please. <laughs> we just got kind yeah. of shy. <laughs> yeah. But this time we said we wanted to touch and uh, that was fun. But it was like tempting to like do more than that. Um, Put so, your yeah. face all over her, like. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but like I wasn't sure because she started. She was like kissing me on my body, and I was like, "Is she? Is, is is this like included, or is she gonna at the end say, oh, I kissed your nipples, so now it's extra?'" I wasn't no, she, sure. She said like touching was included, so okay. she can kiss. You can kiss. Yeah. You just decided not to. But I don't think the mouth. It's like in Pretty Woman. Oh, yeah. Not the mouth. Not the mouth. Never kissed oh, the Julia mouth. Julia Roberts. Well, it was like, what's his name? Richard Gere. Richard Gere. <laughs> it was cheaper for him. <laughs> it was cheaper for him. <laughs> so we said, yeah, let's just, you know, get it all the way now so we can have fun. And, you know, Gab asked me, oh, what do you want her to do? And I was like, nothing really. Like a happy ending is I'm totally good with. If I want anything extra, I think maybe just like some touching, like being able to touch her would be fun but that's that's pretty much it i'm not looking for some like deep dive porn action uh in the room i mean you know just like sexy fun good times and so that was it and she was like great that's um that's fun that's perfect let's do that so she turns on the music and then i lie down and she you know starts massaging me and gab sitting behind me and she's like being all sexy. She was really nice. She was 
uh, a little bit petite for my taste. I prefer um, girls that are a bit taller, a bit more like meat on the, the bones. But she was tiny. She was petite. Her energy was great. So, um, yeah. And then, uh, you know, she starts touching and so on. And Gab's getting all excited and watching. And then he gets up and he starts touching me and doing stuff to me. And then after, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, I got, sorry guys, I got to keep this a little PG for YouTube. I got on the table with her. And again, this was my second time doing it. And I was just feeling myself out. Like at that point, you don't even pay attention to him, you know, or even her. You're just like, I was just staring at myself and I was like, damn, like you look good. It was very empowering kind of reminded me of pole dancing too you know like it's a very empowering I mean I wouldn't call it a sport it's not a sport but just you, you get in touch with this certain female energy I mean you men probably don't get where I'm coming from but my females out there I don't know if you've ever done this before but uh, I definitely feel myself well when it came time to the happy ending uh, you know she did her whole like moaning thing and going at it and I was like helping her out and the massage you know I paid for an hour but honestly it didn't last more than like 20 minutes like Gab can't hold off that long for a whole hour of like touching and feeling because it's not an actual massage like it's a horizontal lap dance almost you know so I mean I've never gotten a lap dance at a strip club I've always wanted one but I can imagine that if you got a lap dance that lasted more than like two songs, even one song, that's just too long, way too long. So yeah. And I also guess it depends what kind of extras you get in the room with her. So, you know, we weren't, uh, we were just like normal massage, happy ending and like touching. That's it. So yeah. And then he came and uh, she didn't aim properly because it went in my hair, but that's okay. Things like that happen all the time. Um, I mean, that's why there's the shower, right? So you could wash yourself off after. And that was it. And then she said, oh, you guys are so cute. And, you know, she left and we took a shower. Then we left and we paid. And that was our sexual reward. It was fun. It was sexy. And I'm excited to do it Again, I just wanted to tell you guys about our positive experience getting an erotic massage. I think it's a really fun activity for couples to do. And, you know, if you're just starting to like dabble in some kinky stuff, I think it's a really great, fun, safe, not too intense way to uh, start, um, you know, dabbling in some sexy, kinky other stuff with other women or whatnot or anything like that you know it doesn't have to be serious it's just fun and sexy and that's it <sighs> so i feel like i just ranted my mouth off for anyways um, that's all yeah overall it was a great experience i would go back and uh, check out the other girls you know and, and we're more comfortable this time so we're gonna oh, be we're... even more comfortable next time well we're comfortable enough that we're talking into it on the camera yep with all of you guys so, you know, if you have any fun massage experiences or you have any questions, because people probably have more questions in comments, yeah, let just, us know. Just go to our Patreon and we answer those questions there. There you go. We'll do a live about it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, take care, guys. So that was it, guys. We're feeling good. We're feeling great and tight and healthy and sleeping better, eating better. So uh, if you want to keep on encouraging us, you know, write in the comments below. Yay, Gab and Ali, keep working hard. And we really appreciate the positive reinforcement. Also some updates about Patreon. I've let my current Patreon members know that I've merged it with Gab. So there's been a lot of changes on there upcoming because um, I've mentioned before, Gab and I have been doing some work together online. We've created three new channels in French, in English, and in Spanish, where we just jib jabber about everything and anything. And it's been really fun so far. So if you guys are interested in supporting us and checking it out and seeing more of me, you could click on the links below to see the YouTube channels and to access the Patreon and see what that is all about. That's all I wanna say. As usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. I love you all. Ciao.